Uh, good evening. Uh, if you're watching these videos, you're uh, maybe creating some value from them. If you uh, don't like swearing, you probably won't like me. Uh, I get expressive sometimes. I uh, have wondered about the English languages and why some words were taboo, etc. I enjoyed George Carlin's rants about uh, the seven words you can't say on TV. So if you're offended by language, you might want to just switch off right now. It's probably a good idea. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the mind. And the mind is a motherfucker. Uh, the mind is that little enculturated voice inside your head. And I think I've said this before. I was talking to a young man. He was about 17 years old. And I said to him something about that little voice in his head. And it was, he just became, became, became terror-stricken. And I... Uh, <laughs> I said, no, relax. I said, everybody has one. He said, what? I said, everybody has at least one. Uh, there are different characters in there. They will, uh, the mind is relentless in doing a thing that my sister, my sister is really heavily involved in A Course in Miracles and creating a lot of benefit from it. We have some great talks. And uh, they use the term connecting the dots. And the mind will go in because the mind, uh, as as an operating system, okay? There are two operating systems in the human computer, one that we come in knowing and one that we learn. And the one that we learn is fairly reptilian by nature. It's kill or be killed. Uh, it's the only way that you can rally a whole nation to illegally, immorally invade a country that has nothing, has done nothing wrong to you and justify killing, I think the numbers are somewhere between 300,000 and a million people. Uh, you say this, you know, is that, therefore this follows there. And very few people question it. Very few people stop and go, <laughs> hang on a second, that, that, that step there didn't make sense. Because the mind very rarely makes sense. It'll use what it will call rational logic, and it's not. It's not a rational logic, logical machine. It's irrational, illogical, uh, insidious, and most of the times it takes you to conclusions that are uh, maybe even verging on delusional. Uh, if you can stop and look at the mind and see it for what it is, and there are times when it will take you over completely. The last few days, uh, my mind has had its way with me. And uh, it takes a lot of discipline to keep from connecting the dots, to keep from going, okay, when this person said that, I should have said that or this meant that, or this meant that. Uh, a former client of mine sat me down and told me all of the insidious, destructive influences I've had on his life, and uh, I sat through it. Uh, his, uh, he had some stress in his life, and I didn't think I wanted to add it. And as I said, I love everybody. I do. But some people, it takes quite a distance and quite a bit of time so uh, I'm fairly efficient at relinquishing relationships that don't work, regardless of, uh, I guess, loyalty. Uh, I don't know what else you would call it. Um, if a person has delusions and they blame you for what's going on in their lives and you want to be the person for that blame, then I invite you to stay in their lives. But if you want to live your life, if you want to be happy, if you want to look and see, wait a minute, wait a minute, that had nothing to do with me, then dismiss people from your lives. Uh, I've done it with family. I've done it with friends. I don't have many friends. I've said that for years. Uh, some of my clients become friends, uh, and sometimes for a while, and then sometimes they go away at my request or theirs. Uh, the work I do... Uh, is disruptive. Let's say that. Um, if you're living a life that you know is less than the life you came here to live, if you stop and think about it, you're going to need some disrupt. I talked uh, just a little while ago uh, about my son, five weeks, about seven weeks ago, my son injured his knee. Uh, we went, I worked on him the first day uh, with, oh, people should click off now, kinesiology. And uh, he was told that they need to move tendons and things, and it was all rational and logical. And uh, he's skiing again. 
is skiing to work, working a full shift in a restaurant, which means a lot of walking, a lot of carrying, and uh, his knee is better. Uh, we've spent a lot of time working on it. I'll document it at some point in time, I think, but it's not the first time we've done that. But if we would have listened to the irrational, illogical conclusions of the medical doctors, uh, we would have had a tendon moved from one part of his body to another, things removed, and made the healing process extended for months and months and months, if not years. Uh, he said that when he went into the hospital, he said, you're on their turf the minute you walk through, Dad. And it's true. A lot of their uh, motivation, I guess you'd have to call it, is based on fear. Once they get you into, your, into their terrain, then they tell you the worst possible scenario that's going to happen if you don't let them rescue you. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to learn to see the mind for what it is, a connect-the-dot, illogical, irrational machine. And uh, misery loves company. Uh, the mind leads to a relatively mediocre life. And uh, if that's what you want, that's, that's, that's absolutely fine. But in my classes, I make distinctions between what you've learned and what you know. We actually work with the operating system and the human biological computer. And it can be tweaked, I guess. Uh, if you don't know there are two systems, you have only the choice to run on the enculturated system, most people, uh, and therefore uh, mediocrity. And I just wanted to talk about one of the aspects. Again, the mind is your best friend and your worst enemy. One of my clients once said... <laughs> What if, what if everlasting life is just your mind, that little voice inside your head? And I thought, yeah, you're laying in your coffin and you, and you hear this little voice going, I told you not to eat that chocolate cake. <laughs> and you realize that's your eternity. Have a fun evening. www.micpeakperformance.com